Hey everybody, it's Billy. Thanks for checking out the channel. Today I am unboxing the July 2017 Think Geek capsule. I did in fact get the first Think Geek capsule and then I just forgot to upload it. So I did film it and did go through it and then, whoops. It's in the middle of a very busy time for me. It just kind of came in the middle of like my camp season and, and, and it was not a good time for me to be trying to do videos. So I apologize that I didn't get the first one up, but this is the second Think Geek capsule. Um, the first one was really good. I was really into it and uh, so I, I have huge expectations for, for this box. Let's get into it. All right, on top, this is that spoiler thing. Put that over there. Okay, we got another one of these Think Geek pins. I don't actually see where I put it at, but last month I got the uh, the Chase, the Red Dragon pin. So um, I really want this this Moon guy. That would be cool. All right, we got the uh, Astronaut Pug, uh, which I mean that's cool, but I, I I would really have liked the Man on the Moon. That would have been really cool. Uh, anybody who got the Think Geek capsule and wants to get this pug astronaut and got the man on the moon, let me know because I'll swap you. Okay. Uh, okay, this is the Hidden Universe Travel Guides Star Trek Vulcan Edition. Uh, exclusive Vulcan postcards involved. Um, I feel like, didn't like Loot Crate DX have one of these a couple weeks ago, a month or two ago, that was like uh, the Galaxy, the Marvel Galaxy or something like that? I think this is a really cool concept for a book. I like um, I like things that tap into a very specific type of nerd. So here, like they're talking about like Lake Euron, and they're talking about like dining and nightlife. Um, I love books that that totally grasp the concept of how strange some of the nerdy culture is. I really, really appreciate this. And it also came with four uh, postcards. These are just basically your travel postcards. Um, like you're on. So, yeah, these are fun. I like these little pieces, little art pieces. All right, we have a Captain America. Looks like a Captain America art set, like a pencil tube, uh, twelve color pencil Thor posters, and a pencil sharpener. That's not bad, so I guess there's uh, some coloring posters in here that you can color, and uh, there's some pencils, a couple of the uh, pencils have already broken off in there, but luckily they include a pencil sharpener, so you can sharpen that up. Okay, we have a Game of Thrones House Stigel, Stigel, I don't know. There's Lannister, Stark. Targaryen. Targaryen. I've never seen Game of Thrones. I don't know. So I got the one that I can't pronounce. Tar. Targaryen. 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 I feel like I've heard that before. I was gonna say you can comment below and tell me how to say it, but that would be really difficult. Unless you did like hyphens and like I don't know. Uh, but yeah, this is a this is a canvas uh, picture of the house. Uh, I guess the, the, more like the flag cycle. I'm really bad at pronouncing things today, guys. So yeah, not bad, not bad. It actually says in the bottom of the box which one I would have got. I didn't even have to open it. All right, then we got a big box in here. We got a big Dungeons and Dragons box. So this is this will be fun. Let's see what's in here. All right, on top we have a D20 patch which is cool because it's also a sticker it's very sticky there so that's awesome I like that a lot I'm not a big fan of patches but I, I like that this one's sticky so inside of the box is this Dungeons and Dragons t-shirt uh, which is a really cool design I like that born lucky so confession, I've never played Dungeons and Dragons. Um, I've always wanted to, but nobody wants to play with me around here. So I, I just keep giving Dungeons and Dragons stuff with no prior knowledge to it. 
At this point, I know that there's a D20 die, I know there's a thing called a Demogorgon, and Fireball. And those last two things I know from Stranger Things. So it's hardly me knowing anything about Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, and then the last thing in here is the Think Geek gift card. Uh, last month I got a $5 gift card from Think Geek. I will need to look up what this is. Is it on my phone near me? We'll look this up a little bit later. And I'll put in the I'll put in the description what I got. That'll that'll be how I do this. All right, that is it for Think Geek Capsule number two. We got the Star Trek Vulcan Travel Guide and Postcard Set. The Game of Thrones um, Steigl Canvas Art. The Marvel Comics uh, Pencil Tube and Mini Poster Set. The Space Pug Pin. Think Geek Gift Card. And then the Dungeons and Dragons Shirt and Patch. I feel like there is a little bit... Um, a little less to this one than there was the first one. I feel like the first one, I, I felt like I got better stuff. I think that the pencil thing is kind of on the cheap side. I get it, something that Think Geek would sell, but eh. And then like the Game of Thrones thing and the Dungeons and Dragons thing, they don't really like appeal to me and my fandom necessarily because I've never played Dungeons and Dragons, I've never seen Game of Thrones. So it doesn't really appeal to my fandom that much. Um, but I know that they are huge things for Think Geek. Uh, when you go on the Think Geek website, they are all over the place on there. Uh, I do really love the travel guide. And, uh, I mean, the pen concept is cool. I would have really have liked to have gotten the man on the moon. So that is it for the July 2017 Think Geek capsule. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you thought about the box. I thought it was okay, not the best. Like I said, leave me a comment below. Give me a like if you want to. Uh, share the video if you'd like to do that as well. If you're not already subscribed, do that. That's it for me. Thanks for watching, and until next time.